That's lovely. That's pretty got nice. A, you got a lot of people like you there. That's terrific. Ooh, there might be a dollar up if you want to. Look like oh. you're wearing it. You, oh. always, you have great audiences. Oh, they're terrific. And Jeff, we, the fact, fantastic the, conductor. You know. The fact that we trained them with chairs and whips over seven and a half years <laughs> has nothing else to do with it. You know? Oh, you got new sneakers. Well, these are, actually, these are not new. These are old. These are, I found these in the back. Back of Way what? In the, well, in the back of the closet. I got a lot of sneakers, and uh, these are in the back, and I thought I'd wear them because they never, they've never been to Australia. Oh, is that right? <laughs> well, some of my other sneakers have been to Australia a lot, you know, <laughs> but these never come here. You know, they tell me you've got a big collection of sneakers, is that right? Yeah, quite a few. And, you know, uh, fans sent them to me, and also uh, sneaker makers sent them to me, you know. And, you Manufacturers, know, you mean? Oh, it's terrible. And uh, they want you to endorse them, so I have a form letter that says, thank you very much for your gift. All oh, right. Yes. <laughs> that's not to the fans. That's only to the uh, endorse. You know, the, the people who want you to endorse their sneakers. How come you're spending more and more time over here now? I mean, uh, it seems every time I turn around, Rob McEwen is here. Not that I mind, or not that anyone else minds, I suppose. But I mean, just well, the... you know what it's like. I mean, you're you're a Yank. Mm. I mean, I get Australian fever. I mean, mm. it's an incredible place. I mean, to me, uh, when I was a kid, I grew up in the uh, American West and uh, did a lot of kind of things. Uh, and it seems to me that this is really the last frontier. You're talking about a, a country that's the size of the United States with a population of the size of California. And I once drove across Australia, and in two and a half days, I didn't meet anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was terrific. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. I mean, it was really nice because you have, you know, I love getting out of the outback. And I'm going to come back here for a tour soon. And uh, one of the, I'm going to do things like Alice Springs. I'm going to do. Um, I don't know, the Barrier Reef and things like Alice that. Alice Springs is not so remote anymore. They've got a big casino. Not anymore, the Federal exactly. hotels have a big casino. What is this supposed to be? This is very Unrod McEwen here, this. Uh, well, what is that in a dinner I suit? Know. Isn't it amazing? Yes. It's my 208th album. Tell me the truth. You took this from the top down, but you had sneakers on under the bottom, right? <laughs> I did have sneakers on. Yes, <laughs> I figured you but, did. But um, that, um, what I did is I did an album of other people's songs, you know, uh, people like Jerome Kern, who wrote the last song you just heard in Oscar Hammerstein, uh, Cole Porter, Irving Berlin. I figured I'd done enough of my own songs. It was about time I did somebody else's songs. And the idea was that they should be presented in a nice way, you know, in mm. an elegant way. And so I ought to dress up for it. Mm. You're well, gonna be a, so you're going to be around for a while, are you? I'm coming to the Moomba Festival. Really? Yes. So beginning next year. That's With fantastic. A, you know, my mate from... Uh, from uh, my conductor from uh, uh, Great Britain has immigrated to Australia, Arthur Green Slate. Great conductor, great guy. I thought John Laws was your conductor. No, John Laws is uh, one of my mates, but not my conductor. I'm it's serious. strange because we, um, it's very inbred society here. Uh, you know, I have a gold mine that I bought with uh, John Singleton. Uh, single. Um, he needs it now. He just lost the two hundred. I know exactly. Bit, uh -huh. But the problem is, we're going to have to use Lawsy's money to develop the mine. Because Where is this Singo going? lost Singo lost the bet, right. so he no longer has a quarter million dollars it would have taken. So it's a, a very confusing. And the mine is up in um, Hill End. I did a documentary there last year on the new Australian gold rush. Yeah. And did you find any gold? No comment. No comment. I mean, so isn't that what you're supposed to say? No, you got With enough gold, gold prices running up and down. I mean, you know, they have Black Monday here and Blue yes. Blue Tuesday and <laughs> Red Wednesday and. You know, I mean, if, if you say that you found gold or something, it might trigger um, Vermilion uh, Thursday. <laughs> I don't Listen, know that. Listen, I mean, I, I stay here and create more things here. Don, it's, it's wonderful to be here. Great to be not only in this, uh, in Australia, but great to be here and great to be on your show again. And uh, it's good to I'm see looking you. forward to come out and, and, uh, and see you again doing Mumba. Oh, you'll be back soon. We're going to do a duet then. Mumba, Mumba's the beginning. You want to sing with me? We do a duet? It's a deal. During Mumba Week, we'll you sing together, it. I promise you. Okay? Clap and kill it, everybody. Let me